Hey folks, welcome to the course, it's Khazri here. So let me first of all give you sort of background and uh, the basic inspiration for this project. Uh, I saw this video from BBC One on uh, YouTube and I really liked it. Uh, also it was featured on Maxon websites uh, and let me just... This is the video here, the basic inspiration. Hopefully you can, just let's get back. So I saw this and I really liked it and uh, opened up Cinema 4D and start uh, kind of uh, playing around with different tools and I finally sort of did it and recreated the same project. So this uh, movie is what we're going to be doing and creating throughout this whole project. We are going to be doing everything, you know. Uh, every detail will be explained from the uh, initial setup to final render and after uh, the whole scene is rendered uh, we're gonna uh, be doing the whole compositing process inside After Effects also so let me just uh, walk you through the video here <music> So that's it. Uh, so you basically uh, can, uh, we are going to do the whole process inside. Let me just uh, give you an overview of the project and what we're going to be uh, doing. This is the final scene. Uh, so uh, uh, everything is finished in this scene and uh, it's ready to render, but so we're going to be doing it from scratch. Uh, just uh, let me show you what we have in our scene. Uh, as you can see, we have different nodes, each node containing a few uh, other objects in itself, and uh, this uh, is the basic. Uh, we have, uh, the main thing is our uh, two cloner setup. Uh, let me just uh, actually kind of hide everything here. Uh, so we have just our main cloners. These uh, clones that are containing and kind of covering the whole scene I call them main cloners and uh, this node containing the cloner and also their effectors and the proxy setup that we're going to be going through that uh, uh, in the next section as you can see we have the cloner and we have the effectors that affects that clone so we have this nice movement uh, let me just uh, go to my option here level of detail and I change the level of detail to low because we have so many clones in our scene and it's more about 4 uh, million to 5 million polys in our scene right now so the viewport uh, can get really uh, kind of slowish uh, we have these main cloners and its uh, effectors and we if you uh, take a look you can see uh, we get this sort of motion as you can see it's really hard to go through so we have to set up our proxy quite soon to see the um, uh, those clones actually uh, moving let me just uh, get back to where I was I changed my level of detail to high so my all my clones and elements are uh, be shown in my uh, scene and uh, we have the next uh, cloner which is uh, basically your logo and uh, you can uh, choose whatever logo you want to use uh, and if I unhide it you can see uh, it kind of uh, goes around and uh, uh, creates the logo finally uh, and it has uh, you can see this uh, cloner a proxy setup that I show you to do that uh, also and we have the clones uh, the effectors that actually affects that clone in order to create that final look uh, we have some scene elements we got this uh, main floor let me just unhide the whole uh, group and if I go to my also I'm in my default camera if I just get back a bit and let me change my level of detail back to low so it's a bit more easier uh, the floor is this main studio scene here as you can see we have this big studio set up and we try to really match it to our clones so it looks like uh, there is an infinity going on uh, so we're trying to set up our scene uh, in a way that we have an absolutely 
camera movement freedom so we can move our camera in every angles that we want without fearing that something you know uh, bad might uh, be framed in our camera so uh, if you take a look at this design if I uh, just play it back to you again you can see you really can feel the infinity look at uh, let's just get started look at this uh, corner up uh, here left corner you can see there is the feel and the sense of infinity uh, and that you have the freedom to move your camera around and in order to set up this uh, sort of a, a look uh, basically uh, is to uh, have this uh, sort of studio setup which covering the whole scene and also the lighting is very important uh, we have basically if I uh, turn on my lighting layers and also I have a lot of layers that I use to organize my scenes and as we go through the projects we will be trying to keep our scene as organized as possible and uh, we are going to be doing them using these uh, nodes up here and grouping them and also using the layers that uh, it gives us really a uh, very nice control uh, to organize our scene and let me just uh, show you my lighting uh, so we have two different set of lighting we have uh, two different set of lighting uh, the first set is uh, basically uh, for the main uh, cloners uh, and the uh, logo cloners and also we have a different set of lights that uh, the, the responsibilities of those lights are uh, to make sure that our walls are uh, lit as uh, evenly as possible so we get those infinite look when we render our scene and also if I uh, again uh, turn off my light layers we have these camera layers which is uh, the uh, whole cameras we got a lot of morph cameras uh, we got some simple camera movements and we're gonna have to set up all of those cameras and I, I'm gonna be walking you through the uh, process of uh, setting those cameras up and how to choose some nice angle how to choose your uh, focal lengths to get some really nice uh, 3d renders uh, so uh, we're gonna fr start from scratch uh, from the next section uh, setting up our clones and uh, everything that you sign this project will be explained in detail for you and uh, I really hope that you're gonna enjoy this uh, that you enjoy this series of tutorials because I really try to go in depth for this series of tutorials and uh, uh, so see you in the next lesson